Hi, I'm Jamie Black, your bathtub philosopher. Well, last night was the Oscars, and Leonardo DiCaprio finally took home a gold statuette. We're so happy for him. And Spotlight won the best picture. It was a great night all the way around. But what people are really talking about are the things that Chris Rock said in his monologue and throughout the show. Chris Rock said some, some things that were right on point, okay? And some people are upset about that, mostly white people. But uh, some people are upset about it and I'm like, I don't understand why you're upset about the things that he said. If he told some lies, now that would make sense to me that you'd be upset about that, but he told the truth. Or is that what the problem is? See, white people don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the reality of the black experience. They don't want to, they don't want to hear the horrors, okay? They don't want to hear about the lynchings and the rapes and the burning of people and houses and churches and, and uh, schools and, and you know, and they don't want to hear all about that. See, they think that the black experience is black people not being able to go to a restaurant to sit down and get something to eat. See, they think that the black experience is, is, is black people, you know, not being able to drink out of the same water fountain or or, you know, go use the same restroom as them or live, live in the same neighborhood as them. No, no. See, the reality of the black experience includes white people that went into to somebody's home and dragged out a black man and hung him from a tree. Or maybe dragged out a black man and cut off his genitals. Or maybe, uh, uh, you know, bombed a, a church full of people full of little girls. You know, that's the reality of the black experience. But see, you don't ever want to hear that because how embarrassing is it to know that that's the way you acted? How embarrassing is that? Oh my God, it's horrible. But it happened. So you got to own up to it and you got to face it so that you can change it. Isn't it about time I mean, it's 2016. It's almost like we're regressing now. You know, I mean, we can't go back to those kind of days. I mean, black people won't stand for it, and that's why they got to protest. Because they ain't going to stand for it. It's like we're regressing, and you want to go back to the way things were back then. And we ain't having it. We ain't having it. So that's why we protest. But let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told my ex-wife. She told me that she was sick and tired of me telling her that she couldn't talk to me like I was a dog. That she couldn't call me names or demean and belittle me. She said she was sick and tired of me telling her that. And you know what I told her? I said, then stop doing it. And you'll never hear me say it again. And that's why I'm telling you, white America, if you're really sick and tired about hearing about all those things that happened and things that are still happening in 2016, if you're sick and tired of hearing about it, then stop doing it. Stop doing it. Stop shooting us dead in the street. Stop doing it. And you'll never hear us say it again. I'm Jamie Black, your bathtub philosopher. I still gotta wash my genitals. <laughs>